Hello YouTube, another video done by MXD. Um, today, we are going to be uh, turning a laptop into a desktop. Um, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but uh, <laughs> got this laptop from work. Um, Anyways, uh, got everything set up. Our installation disk, which is uh, Windows XP Pro. Um, many of you are probably thinking, gee, it doesn't look like an XP Pro disk. Well, that's because I pirate. And you should too! I'm not uh, persuading anybody of you to uh, commit any illegal crimes. Um, that's I do myself, so uh, not being a hypocrite. And then if you do, great. Well, let's get started. Now, uh, this laptop I uh, got from uh, a friend of mine. Uh, now, I already checked it out. I've tried new screens and everything. Uh, but nothing works, so uh, this is why I'm going to be taking this and turning it into a uh, desktop. We've already got a screen set up here. Um, once we do that, then we're going to uh, install Windows XP uh, Pro. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet. I might set it up as a media center. I'm just hook it up to my NAS or top of that. But, uh, other than that, uh, comment or uh, like in below. Um, this might be a pretty lengthy video. I think I should have uh, taken the screen off before I did this. But what you're going to want to do is uh, remove both of the, uh, I mean, I'm using a Dell Latitude uh, D800, but uh, Right here, there's a hole, and right at the hole, it says D, which means uh, display. Now, uh, basically, I've already removed the screen. And then, what you're going to want to do, um, varying from different types of laptops, uh, you're going to want to remove the uh, bezel piece for it, which is on the screen itself. Now, don't wreck it, because uh, you're going to be needing it later. Now carefully lift the screen up and off, and then uh, unplug it from the uh, port. Take the screen away, right. and uh, put it back together. Sometimes there's different ways of. Uh, I'm going to want to stick it back together, but to me, I'm going to need it. Oh. Yeah, shit, gravy. Yeah, Anyways, now that you've got that all set, you have a screenless laptop which you should have. Now, please don't go all macho on the damn thing and rip it off like a Terminator. But, plug the screen in, plug the charger in, and voila, you have an instant desktop. Now, let's start it up. Huh. 
of uh, photography. Okay. I have successfully uh, set the uh, expanded screen. Uh, now I can just unplug this hopefully. Also another reason why you can get rid of your uh, old screen yet. There might be a problem. Started. Now, the great thing about having an external uh, screen is that uh, the laptop is still mobile. So say the feds break in on your house, you get to see so you take the laptop and run off with it or just completely destroy it. Which uh, is one thing that I've got to set up still. It's uh, real holes here. Uh, things. Uh, okay. Windows XP Media Center. but they're still down. It's been down for quite a few uh, months now. Um, hopefully they come back. We are going to install Windows XP Media Center because honestly I installed Professional so many times. It's unbelievable. So let's do Windows XP Media Center. It's kind of uh, defeating the purpose because there's only a 40 gig uh, hard drive on here. Um, but I actually know the person who created the disk. It's a great tool for all you techies out there who use it. Um, uh, pretty good. Uh, it includes Windows XP Professional, Home, Tablet, uh, and Media Center. And uh, the music, in case you're wondering, is uh, just dubstep. 
I love dubstep. Also, a couple of other tools that you might find that are great is Pyrens, MRI. Uh, MRI is basically a program that is used by Geek Squad. Um, it's a trademark program, but hell, got leaked out, pirated, you know, gotta get in on the good stuff. Um, hopefully, like, fuck, this doesn't come back on me about explaining how to pirate me and all that crap, but hell. They can't catch me. They don't even know where I live. Yeah. Oh, another thing is, if you're doing pirate, you're going to want to use Peer Block. It blocks everything from P2P organizations to uh, uh, educational uh, malware sites, you know, like uh, websites carrying malware on the site. So if it becomes a problem, uh, just enable uh, HTTP uh, mode. Well, after installation, I will show you uh, what else to set up after that. But, uh, basically, if you want to basically uh, continue browsing through YouTube, um, we're just about wrapped up here. Almost. We just got to install. Uh, XP, uh, uh, Media Center. So, uh, I will be back after the install soon. We'll be very brief. We have a little troublemaker. Um, seems like partition B has been, uh, infiltrated by a fuzzy little feline. Hey you, you're gonna close up the uh, installs and anyways. I also uh, I just uh, okay, you gotta move. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, in case some of you who uh, haven't done a uh, Windows XP installation before, uh, or any installation at that, you go somewhere, do something. Uh, okay, so, anyways, um, so you click the, uh, partition you want, which is, uh, the first one to see, and you're gonna want to format it quick with NTFS. Um, uh, yada, yada, So it's gonna format it really quick, and then it'll, uh, put in all the installation files needed, um, everything. Get off the table! You are a nuisance! Oh my god! I'm making a video, okay? I know how much you want to be online, but Jesus. Okay, so I guess uh, it's going to be about an hour or two with the uh, magic of uh, magic of uh, photography. Uh, we're going to make that pretty quick. So I will be back in this right here, which is, I uh, presume, is a virus. <laughs> uh, a little dry humor and laughter there. Um, I guess it's a, it's a spyware, I guess I should call it. But I will be back. I'm going to make myself something to eat. done soon. Didn't you wait? Or go to your room? Make me a sandwich or something? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, leave your comments below. Uh, like for uh, Rogue Hacking Kitty. <laughs> also to mention, Windows XP, as many of you know, is on the out. 
of uh, updates as far as uh, security updates, that sort of thing. Uh, it's all the cat's fault. My cat's fault, Mr. Fuzz Bubbles. Um, other than that, uh, I recommend to upgrade the Windows 7 because uh, XP is becoming the uh, Windows 98 of the uh, evolution of Windows. Uh, but for me, uh, I like this. Hey! Didn't you go to your room? Okay, you, uh, anyways, uh, still running. Uh, I know I'm getting a little bit bored, but uh, I'm still making uh, stuff to eat. Anyways, uh, I guess my cat wants to be the main attraction of this episode. Yes. The cat has found itself a nice little perching area on my table. You're gonna get fur in the keyboard, and you. Anyways, uh, I'm just trying to add a little bit of excitement. Right back. 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 Right back